Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the German Glashütte Original Senator Excellence. There's a few of these watches. This is the version which has what I call the observer dial. Um, and there's a few other versions. Uh, well, there's one other version. There's just two metal. There's two metals. There's steel and gold um, of this with a slightly more classic dial. I like the observer dial because it's super legible. Um, and this is the only version of the Senator Excellence with loom. So what is the Glashütte Reginald Senator Excellence aside from being a pretty demure looking 40 millimeter wide uh, dress watch that's about uh, I think it's about 10 millimeters thick. Um, here it is on the black rather soft actually calf leather strap and in all accords it looks um, highly conservative, useful, but in some ways ordinary. What's special about this is the movement. They call this the Caliber 36 and this is a new movement as of 2016 for the brand. It's totally in-house made um, and it's, it's, it's a really special movement, but I'll talk about the movement uh, in a second. So first let's put the watch on. I do want to mention that there's a slightly more exciting version of the Senator Excellence with the observer dial that comes on a matching steel bracelet. I always like Glashute original watches with a bracelet and they add slightly more, I don't know, sporty, interesting, avant-garde look to them um, that I think is lost a little bit on the strap. The strap is comfortable, the strap is nice, and the strap is very versatile. But I think you'll agree that if you want sort of a maximum, um, you know, uh, the maximum sort of like, I'll call it brand character, and impact of the watch, it's probably a good idea to think about wearing it on a bracelet. So it's a good thing that the watch comes on the bracelet. This watch dial is inspired, according to Glashut Original, by uh, old, what they called uh, deck clocks, which were clocks um, on boats um, that were meant to be very legible. And proportions here are great, just enough sort of like, I guess you call it visual fascination to the font used um, for the Arabic um, numeral hour markers hands are the right length and also notice that this is a clean dial in the sense that everything's symmetrical there's no date um, it's just the time n you know just enough text not more than you need you have glashut original name and then it's kind of redundant but just to remind you that it's produced in the city of glashuta um, there you have the name right there nothing else and, and i like that so if you're looking for something comfortable and all purpose that you could wear casually with shorts or with a suit, um, this is actually quite a good start. So now let's talk about the Caliber 36 movement because this is not a cheap timepiece and the reason it's an expensive timepiece is because of the movement. So there's a really lot to talk about this movement and we try to do as much as possible in the written review, but I'll just go over the basics. So in essence, you have a three hand automatic movement um, and it has a long hundred hours of power reserve. So that's that's more than three days. That's you know, of course about four days of power reserve. And that's um, a really admirable amount um, for a watch movement that is that is this thing because it's not that thick of a movement. Um, but it's not just a watch movement with a long power reserve. Glashut Original wanted to make it very accurate. And what comes with each of these watches is a special certificate. Um, so it's similar to like a cost chronometer certificate, but actually more intensive where uh, the company hand writes and shows you the specific results for every single one of these watches, which is nice. Um, the escapement and regulation system, you have a swan neck uh, regulator as well as screws in the balance wheel for very, very precise um, adjustment of the movement. Basically that means that a watchmaker can tweak this so that the movement can be as accurate as possible. There's a lot of other funny things, for example, like how the movement movement is set into the case. Um, it has a bayonetting style system where rather than screws to hold it down, the movement kind of goes in, turns, and snaps, similar to how a bayonet, which is a knife, um, would attach to uh, a, a rifle. Um, and that's where that name came from. So you have a very secure way of setting the movement to make sure it's straight. Screws that secure a movement are actually a weak point. There's a number of decorative techniques and other little things that, that make this movement special. But again, you just need to remember that this is the German way of doing uh, a modern yet traditional, very accurate movement for people who are concerned with that. And more and more today, um, especially because we can do a technology, the watch world is, is able to offer um, a lot of movements that have a, a really nice level of, uh, of accuracy to them. And you know, in the Swatch Group especially, which owns Bushut de Reginal, between this brand and Omega, and Blanc Pond and Breguet, which are all Swatch Group brands, you'll, you'll find a, a number of timepieces in all of those brands that really sort of emphasize 
um, not just traditional mechanical movements, but also um, you know the extreme of, of what you can do in a consumer uh, product within a mechanical watch. And so that's that's quite cool, and the movement looks quite nice. And if you are an aficionado, you'll definitely notice um, that this is a, this is a unique uh, watch. And you can especially see here the the various gears here um, that that show you that there's something a little bit different because that's not a common feature um, on a lot of watches. So again, this is the Glashuta Original Senator Excellence with the beautiful and very effective Caliber 36 automatic movement, which is made in-house. Um, really a stunning movement. It'll serve as a base, right? So this is the beginning of the Caliber 36. It begins with this very simple, you know, time only, but it is something that Glashuta Original has said that they will build future movements on top of, and I'm pretty sure um, some of those will be debuted later in 2016 and, and into seven, 2017 as well. So it's a fantastic start for them. Um, again, not a particularly inexpensive watch, but um, I think there is a lot of value there. And remember that that as a German watch, you're always going to get a little bit of an edge on price in the sense it's going to be just slightly less money um, than a comparable Swiss Swiss watch. Maybe not enough less money, but still less money. So this watch uh, retails for $9,700, probably a little bit more um, on the bracelet. And of course, in the in the gold version, it's going to be higher still. Uh, cool watch. Um, looking forward to seeing these around. And you can see more on a block to watch. Thanks.